Okay, today we're going to be talking about transfer windows to other, to other planets. So, here's the thing. If you launch, uh, if you launch people like, let's say, um, Starship is ready and going on and then they land on it, they'll only stay there, for, they ha they'll only have to stay there for a couple days before they turn back or wait a couple years to get back. Why? Transfer windows. Because, let's say, this is the Earth, and then it launched when Mars was right here. Easy. But if Mars is right here, on the other side of the, the solar system, you'll have to wait another some more years for it to get in its same position. So, SpaceX is already building their the Starship prototypes fall, so all of them crashed, obviously. Beautiful crashes. Um, SNA exploded while landing. SN9 exploded when and my face first. SN10 landed successfully and then exploded. SN11 got torn to pieces by the um, by one of the Raptor engines because one of them failed to ignite but some people when that happened they they thought it was the FTS you guys if you guys don't know what it, the FTS is it's on all kinds of rockets like it'll be on Starship um, SLS and other rockets like Delta 4 Delta IV Heavy, I mean, Delta IV was re retired like two years ago. With Delta IV. And all other kind of rockets. The FTS is flight termination system. So if a rocket is about to crash, they blow it up into chunks. So it doesn't cause any big damage. But... With the Delta II incident, this caused lots and lots of people's cars to be destroyed. There's road work on the side of my house and it's very annoying, so... Yeah, anyways. So, I saw in this... I saw this picture. It showed... If I can, I'll put a picture of it. It showed a SpaceX Starship going to Saturn. I mean, technically, this is possible. So, here's the thing. It took like twenty, like fifteen years. Now, some people correct me for the Voyager probes to go to Pluto. Well, now they're interstellar objects, so. Well, luckily for me, because I live in Australia, but we live up into, but we live up in Queensland, in Canberra, there's this giant radio dish, like massive, the size of my school's like oval place, where we do archery in that, that big, and its sole purpose is to contact with the Voyager probes, Voyager 1 and 2. And the Pioneer missions, they were, they were like for before the Voyager probes. See if it's able to go through Saturn and Jupiter. The Vo Voyager 11 actually went straight through Saturn's um, rings. Stupid road work. We're trying to film a video! We're trying to film a video! Anyways, so it took 10 or 20 years for the Voyager probes to go to Pluto. The New Horizons telescope was went there nine years. Well, by Voyager probes. We're trying to film a video here. Thank you. It took it nine years. This helped because. Number one, it was the 
fastest, it's the fastest telescope ever. And that it will show transfer window. So transfer windows in real life work the same as in Kerbal Space Program. Now that machine shut down and now we can, now it's way better. I'm sorry for all the interruptions. Stupid road work has been going on for like five days. Anyway, so, here's the thing. Percy, or the Perseverance rover, has landed on Mars, now it's successful. You, if you didn't watch my last, one of my last videos of the Perseverance rover, how it actually touched down, that was the day before the Perseverance rover actually landed. Now, Ingenuity has tested its, tested its, tested its propeller blades, and today, hopefully, it's going to, it's going to fly. And, yeah. First powered flight on a planet. And then all your spa all you space nerds out there, you're probably wondering, oh, what about Soviet Russia, which sent the two air balloons to Venus? Was that power flight? Write in the comments. Was that power flight? How do weather balloons go on Earth? Do they just, do they have a rocket engine and they just, just or a propeller blade and they just <laughs> go up? Or do they just float, float up there and then pop? And other YouTubers send their play buttons into space. They go like, then pop, they get it back. They put it on their shelf. Then, hi, yeah. Unfortunately, Mr. Beast couldn't do it because they didn't allow him to. Dang it. Also, by the segment, because, because I said about Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast thinks that the world is flat. This is impossible. Why is it impossible? Well, number one, why do we have satellites orbiting around the Earth? Two, why do we have seasons? Three, why do we have the moon? And four, why do rockets even exist? And five, how does the, how does the atmosphere exist? So, there's some myths that shows that the Earth is like on a turtle's back. And I heard someone say that the sun and moon are the same size. Bullsh! That's impossible. The sun is a giant flammy ball of gas that if you put, that if you get a chicken, cut it up into pieces, put it on a rod, stick it up there, one, one millisecond you're gonna have chicken kebab. See you later. Bye.